Israel is building a new highway in Palestine's Gaza that will run through the former Netzarim settlement and will effectively divide the besieged enclave into two parts, Israel's pro-government Channel 14 has reported. Being referred to as Highway 749, its construction will level all civilian infrastructure in its path, likely including the Turkish hospital which was operating a few weeks ago before being destroyed, Al-Aqsa University, two villages, amusement parks and acres of agricultural land. According to the report, Israeli forces are establishing this highway to deploy future military offensives in Gaza, as well as to prevent the movement of one million Palestinians in the south of Gaza back to their homes in the north. אנחנו נמצאים פה במרחב מסדרון נצרים שיוצר חיץ בין מרחב צפון הרצועה שנמצא מצפון אלינו לבין המרחב המרכזי והדרומי שנמצא מדרום אלינו כדי להגן על המרחב לפשוט לעבר מרחבים שיש בהם אויב, למנוע את המעבר מדרום לצפון the report has sparked fears among many who say the construction of Highway 749 indicates Israel's plan to illegally reoccupy Gaza, contradicting the supposed stipulations of its long-term ally the US as part of its solution to the ongoing conflict, which includes no reoccupation of Gaza and no reduction of its territory. This report on Israel's post-war plans for the besieged enclave comes amid threats of a ground invasion of southern Gaza's Rafah, issued by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, while Benny Gantz, a member of Tel Aviv's war cabinet, warned Hamas that if all Israeli hostages aren't released by the start of Ramadan, Israeli forces will launch the assault, which will reportedly last for six weeks.